Mayo is one of the oldest communities in the Yukon. It was officially founded in 1903. There's really four sorts of ideas that we have about the North from the South. The one is there are resources here and they are the resources that have in the past made Canada rich. The second image we have is that the North is a homeland. That is that there are people who live here and it's where they've been born, it's where they've found their partner, life partner, it's where they have had their children. That is not something that is shared by many Southerners, of course, because many Southerners know very few people who, are, who will live all the time of their life in the North. A third area that we have is that the North is a wilderness. That is, that it is a vast, and sadly, people would think uninhabited space. It's a place where wildlife can roam. There are some of the most untouched landscapes, untouched by industrialization landscapes on earth. And then the, the fourth idea of the North is that the, the North is a laboratory. It's a place where research takes place. It's a place where we understand how the world works. It, there are ecosystems and landscapes that we don't come into contact with on a regular basis in the South. And so it's a place that we find things out. And of course, with climate change, it's a place where the climate is changing the fastest, particularly in Northwest Canada. And so it's a place where what we anticipate is going to happen in the South is being um, is rolling out before our very eyes. We're getting information about how quickly permafrost is changing. At four meters depth, the temperature is almost exactly minus one. But it used to be, two or three years ago, it used to be minus one and a half. So we drove an hour out of Mayo. We got to Kino City and we just drove up onto Kino Hill. That's where we are now in the tundra. It's kind of hard to breathe up here. <laughs> we just took a, I think it was two kilom, no, over two kilometers to get to our little lunch spot and I was very out of breath. Kino Hill is beautiful. You can see almost a 360 view all across the mountains. One word, beautiful. <laughs> Breathtaking. Literally. <laughs> Those four views are views that we try to represent within the Northern Studies program and that our students will become experienced in some way of, of the different, those different views of, of Northern Canada. <laughs>